So basically what we're doing is just making a wet mold. We've got our cheek riser here that we did. We cut out the middle. So this is going to go on the back of the gun. And what this piece here that we're working on, this leather piece that I'm molding, that's going to be for the riser. And that's going to allow your cheek to sit on the edge of the gun, on the barrel of the, or the, uh, the butt of the gun, and kind of lift your... It's going to lift your cheek about an inch and a half or so off the butt of the gun so that you can look right down the scope and not have to lift your head. So what I'm doing here is I'm just getting my veg tan leather really nice and wet and just kind of working that with my fingers just like I would with like clay. And it's so wet that it'll just like kind of mold to the way that I want it. And then when it dries, it'll hold that shape. And I try to get this all flat because this is where the edges will get sewn down when they're nice and flat. I'm just using my fingers to kind of give that shape. And you can re-wet this if you need to. It's kind of a shadow, but you can see that there. There's our, our riser, kind of a nice even surface. Okay, so you can see how I kind of stuffed this backside with newspaper just to sort of give it some form and to help it dry out. As I turn it over, you can kind of see how this is forming now. So this, I just kind of keep forming. It's still pretty wet, but as I kind of just shape it, uh, it'll hopefully stay in that position. You know, and I just made this out of piece of wood, this jig, basically. It's a, a mold. Uh, to help me kind of get that set up the way that I wanted it to. All right, so I'm kind of aiming for an inch and a half on this guy. Yep, right there. All right, so here's the rifle that uh, a customer gave me. And you can see right here on the, the butt of the gun is where he wants this to be about an inch and a half higher because when you look down the scope, he wants to be able to see you right down the scope. And right now, when you look at it, you gotta raise your head up. So the way that I measured, it looks like I need to be about an inch and a half high for a, a cheek to just sit right about here. And then you'll be able to look right down that barrel. So here. So here's the custom uh, leather piece that's going to go on the back here. You can see I've got that cut out in the middle. Uh, and that's where that piece that I'm molding right now is going to fit right through there. And we'll kind of make it real nice and snug and glue the bottom. Sew that up so it'll be nice and, and tight. And then we just got some holes to hold everything together around the, around the butt of the gun. So we'll take a look at it when we start putting it all together. All right, so we let this dry overnight, and now it's really hard, uh, which is good. So uh, we'll kind of oil it up a little bit too, I think, to maybe make it a little softer. But that's going to go right on here, the cheek pad. Yeah, so we'll pull this out. And gently push it through the mold there. And you can see how that just kind of forms like that. Just a little bit of water. And the newspaper helps dry it up faster too. There, so that's kind of sitting in there now. We need to do a little bit more shaping with that. But that gives a pretty high, I think it's about two and a half inches cheek rest. And what I'm gonna do at this point is I've got this wool and so I'm going to stuff this in here where this newspaper's at and as I take that out of there kind of see that I got this nice pocket in here so as I start filling this up that's going to really kind of fill out this area the way I want it and give it so it's kind of soft and you can set your cheek on there And this is nice, I just got this sheep wool that's kind of in a bunch of pieces.
I'm basically just stuffing this in here. All right, so that's pretty good. And what I'll end up doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut here around this piece so that I've got a nice place to glue to the inside of this area. And then we can stitch it on there. I'm gonna add another piece on top of here to sort of seal everything in here. All right, so got these nice leather scissors. These things really cut through pretty thick leather. And so this doesn't need to be uh, perfectly straight because it's gonna be hidden underneath everything. I can just use scissors to cut instead of an, an X-Acto knife. You, like these are craft tool leather, leather scissors. These things just cut through like butter. It's really awesome. I mean, honestly, this is like cutting through a piece of paper. It, there's like no strain on my hand at all cutting this stuff. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually find a piece of leather that's gonna just fit over this sort of like a lid just to seal everything in there and I kind of finish it off. So I'm just really stuffing this thing in here. I kind of stuffed it and then I realized that there's still sort of a pocket if you push on it. So I wanna make sure it's nice and tight with all of this stuff in there. All right, so I did get my X-Acto knife now. So I wanna be a little more perfect on the edges here. So I'll burnish all these edges, but I'm just using my X-Acto knife to follow the existing finished leather. So we'll get a nice edge. There you go, so you can see that. That looks a lot nicer. So we'll sand that out and burnish it. Let me do the front side here. So here's the stitched cheek riser full of wool. All right, here's the final result. So I stitched it up, attached it to the rifle. One and a half inch rise on the cheek was perfect but that actually turned out pretty well.